Well, another tough emotional day for the VMI football team as they battle down the stretch but end up falling to Mercer by a score of 48 to 38. And with the win, Mercer gets its second SOCON win of the year. Well, the Keydets were down by 21 points at the outset of the fourth quarter, but rallied behind Reese Udinsky. A touchdown pass to Chris Thornton with two minutes left and a two point conversion successful to Jacob Harris made it a three point game. But Mercer able to get points at the end to put the game away. Reese Udinsky, another big day throwing for the Keydets, another 400-yard effort, throwing for 434 yards. That's the second most in VMI school history, of course, uh, next to his 491 yards against Western Carolina last week. Keydets also with two 100-yard receiving efforts by Chris Thornton and JV and Laura. Now here's head coach. Scott Walkenheim with today's comments on the game with Mercer. Very proud of the football team, the way they played all four quarters. Um, obviously, we made too many mistakes to win the game against a good Mercer football team. Uh, had some issues in the kicking game early. Uh, you know, Reed King was out this, for this game with an illness, and you know, we, we failed to execute a couple of times, uh, probably due to repetitions, you know, lack of repetitions. Um, but uh, you know, once we settled down there, the kicking game was you know pretty good. The rest of the game, uh, they got a really good running attack. We knew that coming in. You know, a pair of backs, thunder and lightning, that can really pound you with the ball. And you know, even though they lost their starting quarterback, Keelan Riley, you know, uh, freshman SoCon, the player of the year, is a good football player. But really proud of the way the team fought. Uh, you know, we, we we struggled to get touchdowns down in the red zone, which we need to do offensively. You know, and then we need to convert third and fourth downs. But the effort was a, was outstanding. You know, again to play 101 plays on offense, to you know throw the ball 70 times, complete 37 of them, stay in the game, stay in the fight. I always thought we were going to win the game. You know, even down three scores, I knew we had the potential to come back. And so, very proud of the way the kids you know fought. Also, the defense. You know, in some adverse situations that we put them in. You know, short fields rose up and and kept them out of the end zone and forced them to field goals attempt, which is uh, big. You know, red zone excellence is something we harp on. So, you know, I think the team learned uh, where there's a will, there's a way, and uh, we definitely had a will. And we never know how the way is going to go. And uh, we almost found a way to win this one. So we'll just keep fighting, looking for. Uh, we're going to keep the will. There's no doubt. We just got to look to find our way. We put in a new offense. It takes time and repetition to work together as receivers. And uh, you know, I think now we've put in that time that uh, you know, like Chris knows where Reese is going to throw him the ball, and Reese knows where Chris is going to be. And you know, we've got the kinks out of taking the right splits, running the routes at the right depth, depth throwing it on rhythm. And uh, you know, I think our young men are in tune to that. I thought Tom Clark and the defensive staff had a great defensive scheme uh, to take away, you know, what Mercer does well on third down and to give our kids a great opportunity to play great third down defense. And, you know, I thought we had a super third down game plan. And, you know, I thought Colin Loftus did a great job in the game covering uh, Marquise Irvin throughout. You know, Marquise is going to make a couple plays and Colin was just following him across the field and, you know, fighting his butt off. And that, that's pretty good for a redshirt freshman. I was, I was very proud of him. We're not going to back down from any challenge, you know, and we're going to play anytime, any place, anywhere. And no matter what the situation, we're going to fight to win. And I think we learned last week in Western Carolina, we were down two scores, 15 points with six minutes and three timeouts that we can score fast. And, you know, today down three scores, you know, it's not a problem. We can score fast, two point conversion. And, you know, our guys made some big time plays. You know, we just, Mercer made one or two more big plays. So, you know, we're going to keep working. Uh, ask the team, you know, hey, do you still have the will? They still have the will. And so where there's a will, there's a way, and we're going to make our way. We're going to find our way, and we're going to do it the VMI way, and, and uh, we're going to get better this open week and then go down and play the Sanford Bulldogs. Keydance will regroup. They've got a bye week next week, and we'll swing back into action on the road in SoCon play, taking on Sanford in Birmingham, Alabama, on Saturday, October 13th. That will do it from Lexington. Final score today is Mercer 48, VMI 38 for RuTube. I'm Wade Branner.